morning. Saturday morning. It's time for our run. We go running with my brother and three, four, five other Amish guys on the pumpkin vine. The problem is it's 50 degrees out and raining. I really don't want to do it. I doubt anybody wants to do it. The problem with men is pride. None of us want to be the first one to check out, to say that, nah, I don't want to go. Let's just cancel this run today. Nope. None of us want to be the one to do that because then we don't look like men. I guess that's a good thing because it keeps us running. Let's go. Let's just get it over with. Fifty-three degrees wet pavement. Me and my brother, two other guys, four and a half miles barefoot. We did break the nine minute miles, which um, is exciting. So we were in the eights. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna continue to try to speed that up probably, but that was fun. I never would have gotten out of bed in the morning had it not been for other guys going. The weather sucks out there. I swung by Miller's Mill. Got me some apple cider, the best there is. Middlebury, Indiana, Miller's Mill. Not pasteurized, nothing, just apples, everything, so delicious. It's like drinking 10 different flavors of apples at the same time. Uh, and then I also had to swing by my parents' house to grab a belt. I gotta get that shipped today. So that's what I'm doing the Saturday morning. Since it's raining, not much to do. I might shoot a little short YouTube short, um, but then me and Miranda, we've been working on, I've been building some uh, cajones. We stained them. We're going to paint our little logos that we chose in front of, on front of them, and we're going to finish that. So we got to do some stenciling and all that, but I'll show some video of that. We have a, a belt that needs to be shipped out. You can buy your belt or your dog collar today at the AmishPotatoCompany.com. Go check it out. This is our state-of-the-art shipping room. It's also their kitchen table. Not going outside because he's scared of the rain. Trooper. This is his trooper. So I didn't take him run this morning. He's a wuss. He's a wussy. I know he has to pee, but he doesn't like the rain. Come on, buddy. Go. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Trippy. Go. Go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Go potty. You gotta come outside though. I'm not going outside, it's raining. Come, <laughs> come here. Now he's outside. Can you get the ball involved? I guess the rain doesn't matter. <laughs>
There you go. Ready to go. Now we just deliver it to the mailman and she takes care of it. This is uh, the one cajon with the sides in the back. This is a um, wood filler. I tried to do some fancy joinery work, as you can see over here, with Miranda's cajon. I don't look too bad, I guess, but uh, I did it with a very shoddy uh, dado set. I should have went and bought a new set. I just didn't want to spend the money. I didn't have a proper jig, but I think it'll look all right. Um, so they're gonna get stained, and then we have the tapas that we're uh, getting ready to put our designs on. The tapas are out here drying with the stain. So this is gonna be Miranda's tapa. That's the front. This is the logo that I'm gonna shoot for putting on mine. And then this is my tapa. Uh, that's the part that you eat on. This is the design Miranda's going for. She has the black tapa, the black stain tapa. So she wants gold, this in gold, which will match the brass, the brass screws that we're gonna use to screw the tapa on. We also then have to add the snares in these boxes somehow. I gotta figure out how to do that. But, and cut the holes. Which will be fun, it'll be fun. You still got to pee because you're standing out here like you want to go outside. Our back room is in a mess. We're doing cajon building and my wife is going through storage eliminating stuff. That's my uh, YouTube studio and the, yeah. <laughs> and the basement <laughs> stairs. Oh, what a mess. Small house life. You going outside? You're afraid we're going somewhere and you can't go. Let's go do it. Go get it done. Go do it. We're here at Walmart. I hate this place. To get some paint and some flies for the toppers. Gold paint? You think we can find it? Yep. Where? I don't know in the paint section. Oh. I don't know where that's at. Right here? Oh, there's vinyl. I don't know where. We don't need that. We got some at home. Right here. This looks like this is it. Is that gold? Pure gold. Well, it does look like gold, doesn't it? I wonder how it looks on your... Is this more goldish? Oh, here's gold. Okay. Is there no glittery? I don't want glittery. Gold. <laughs> That's really glittery. Um... I don't know what it looks like. So this is so ink. Look at this green. Is this Inca gold? This is this is gold. This is gold. This is glitter gold. Which one do you want? I don't care. No, you get to choose. Mm -hmm. Pick maybe your two favorites. Oops, sorry. Apologize.
so that is what it's gonna look like. I don't know if I like it. It works. It's kind of cool, kind of grungy. I like grungy. Brandy, you want to show them yours? So that. I like it. I think it looks really good. The sides will get stained the dark brown, and then my sides will get stained the black. Unless we change our minds. You gonna change your mind? No. You look really pink with that light. What? I'm gonna roll your eyes. <laughs> Somebody tired. I'm a little jealous. That color looks really good on pine. Or on popular. Popular. It really does. Do I do this now? Um, did you do both sides in the bottom? Not this, this side yet. Do that side first. And I haven't done the top yet. There it is. It looks really good. Except for the oak. Looks too Amish ish. <laughs> it's fine! <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. Plus, it's the back. Who's gonna look at the back? Okay, now what do I do? Yeah, I just do the front edges just to make sure they're covered. Okay. 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 Make sure the inside of your heart's. You well covered, like on the inside. Well covered oh my goodness, I like hers better. I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I regret my decision. Well, the black's cool, but. I think if I sand it a little bit, make it look rustic. Like you take a little bit of the black off, it'll be better. You guys should wear gloves. Probably. You want some gloves so you can paint other stuff? No. We're done. I doubt the camera got anything that I did. Mm. I've been running some errands this morning and uh, stopped in at a business that might help me out with some things. It's just me and Trooper. So anyway, I'm here at Essenhaas where they sell the infamous Long Johns. And I think I'm gonna pick up a dozen for that business as a thank you. What do you think, Trooper? On my birthday in August, I was gonna come out, my 40th birthday in August, I was gonna come out here and eat like four or five Long Johns just to celebrate. As you guys know, I'm 
on a mostly carnivore diet, definitely a whole foods diet. So this is, this is just poison for me. Um, so I don't know. I didn't do that. I ended up not doing the four or five. Uh, I didn't get any on my birthday, so maybe I'll make up for that today with one, but I wouldn't ever admit that to you guys, ever. I would love to have one because they're delicious. But like I said, I'm on the carnivore diet. I would never eat anything like that. So me and old trooper here hey buddy first thing this morning we ran over to my dad's house the harness shop i had to drop off some supplies for a um, dog collar that was being made and then i ran over to my sister brother-in-law's house uh, he had ordered some shoes and they came they're too small so he's gonna send them back uh, I happen to be, since they don't have internet, I have now ordered, I don't know how many pairs of shoes from Lem's, Lem's shoes uh, for my family. Most of, most of my brothers and brother-in-laws are wearing them, actually, except for my one brother who thinks we're all falling for a gimmick. <laughs> but uh, everybody who's worn them, they, they love them and they probably won't go back to normal shoes after buying these work boot types of shoes from Lems. Let me put you guys in here and I'll show you the shoes. So I'm, I'm a little, can we get Troopy in the shot? Can we get you? Oh, barely, okay. Uh, so I have a pair, these are the Boulder boot. I have a pair of these. Um, but they have a different sole on them. So they now, since I bought mine, these now came out with a nicer sole, a more of a work boot type of sole. Um, the ones I have, the sole kind of wears thin quickly. It must be softer material or something. But these are, aren't those some good looking boots? I'm telling you, look at the wide toe box, but doesn't look ugly, doesn't look clown shoey. That is a sexy boot. I'm telling you, I love it. Uh, they also came out with a new style that doesn't have this moccasin looking thing here. Um, looks more like a work boot. It's also very good looking, but I do like that. Now I just can't wait till mine wear out so I can get a pair of these. But these are, those are, those are good looking boots. Lemsshoes.com. I am not affiliated with them. Yeah, just order yours. I love, they're comfortable. Some of the comfort, most comfortable boots I've ever had. Uh, they also sell other shoes. Um, if you don't know what barefoot shoes are or minimalist shoes are, check it out. They fix a lot of people's back problems, hip problems, whatever it is. You are not meant to be 
be standing on a heel all day long. That is not natural. Your foot should be flat with the ground. Research it. We gotta go inside. It is getting close to nine o'clock. I gotta be somewhere tearing apart a deck today to fix some of the posts that have rotted out. You can't go along for that. Every morning, he looks so sad when I leave him behind. So if I can, if I can take him, I'll take him. Cause he loves, he's a car guy. He's a truck guy. You like, you like riding along, don't you? You like riding with us, don't you? knobs my plan is it'll turn this piece which will turn the snare on or off so we can engage the snare or disengage it I have no idea where how to locate these so we're just gonna guess and hope it's in a good spot Now we gotta add our clothes pin. There's no <laughs> so that works. What I did, what I did was notch this out into to put some flat sides on it. So the clothes pin pin lies against here. Then when you turn it, it, there's some tension until it pops back into place. Now we just need to. When it's back, make sure they don't rattle. That's what these are for. But they're not wide enough. Uh oh. So now what? So what I did find was some dirty carpet. But this should work great as a dampener. I think it will be perfect. 
Yeah, I think this will work great other than the ugly, <laughs> the ugly knobs. I don't like the knobs. I am not a fan. All right. Let's figure out where to put it. Let's see. These staples hold. Well, maybe do this. And then this. Disengaged. Oh yeah, Makita, Makita, I love you, Makita, but uh, do we really have to hear a song when the battery is done charging? So, now, now that the snares are in place, I have no idea, I have no idea how these things are going to sound. Uh, I just built a box and I, I put a, I ordered 8th inch poplar plywood. Uh, I think it's poplar. No, balls. Balsic? I don't know. No, I don't remember. But... It's an eighth, eighth inch thick. That's what they suggested. I added these snares like some other people did. And uh, so now it's just a matter of putting the top on and then maybe give us a couple more coats of finish. I chose boiled linseed oil. I'm kind of regretting that. It's really kind of still sticky, tacky. I do, I put it on my shovel handle. I really like the feel of it. That's why I chose that, but maybe that wasn't the best option for this. I don't know how long it takes to dry out. Anyway, so we're gonna put the top on, off camera, and we're gonna see how it sounds. And then I'll put hers together and we will show you guys the finished product. And we're back. Good morning. Today is a free day for me. It's Thursday. I had the day off tomorrow and Saturday. I'm taking a load to uh, Holmes County, Ohio. So that'll be exciting, be fun. And two weeks later, I do the same, but uh, I don't have much time this weekend. I'll be driving them around out there. And then in two weeks, they're going for a checker tournament. So I'm assuming I'm dropping them and then I can do my own thing. But yeah, since today I have the day off, I'm down here at the church. Uh, I do the, I run the video or set up the live stream and stuff with the camera back here. And all that, there's a sound booth. Um, but with our live streams, it's, it, the lighting kind of sucks when it comes to the pastor and, and stuff like that. So we're going to, we, this is an old church, but we're going to, See those three lights above me? They work, but that center light is turned the other way and it's the bulb's just hanging. It needs to be fixed. So <laughs> we're gonna get up there and fix it. So hopefully we can turn that light. I don't know if I can get this properly. Hopefully we can turn that light direct it onto the pastor's light or the path the podium so there's proper lighting so he's properly lit 
just it'll just make it visually a little bit better um, we're also having problems with uh, right in front of the pasture all the way up there you see that well sunday mornings the sun when the sun's shining it shines directly through there but when it's not sunny there's clouds moving through you can see the lighting in the live stream kind of going in and out so hopefully this will fix that problem and we might end up covering that window back there but right now this is 25 30 feet i'm gonna set up some scaffolding and then put a ladder on top of that most likely not osha approved <laughs> problem was, no matter which way you turned it, the bulb in here just kind of hung anyway and it wasn't directed where it's supposed to be. And we're putting like floodlight, floodlight bulb or a spotlight bulb in there, not sure yet. Yeah, it just kind of hung in there, but that's because of this being loose. So I'm going to take it apart, tighten these up, and we should be golden. So I got the light swapped out, it is now shining on the pasture. Hopefully that will separate him from the background. If you're interested in listening to his sermons, uh, they are on YouTube, they're on Facebook, links are on Facebook. Living Hope Fellowship, this is in Sturgis, Michigan. And uh, yeah, go check him out. He's a good, good teacher and it's a great church. A few things that, one thing we're gonna change is the knobs. They're wooden, they're ugly, they're on there crooked. We're gonna put something maybe brassy, brass looking on there. Uh, 
But yeah, Miranda picked this design. I think it came out really good. It's actually a logo <laughs> for a company, but that's all right. And then I just picked this, this, I don't know if I'm pleased with it or not. I just added a name too, since I just add names, firebox designs. <laughs> I didn't know what else to put. I like the flame logo, which I drew myself. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about my top or my front, but it is not, it's, it is what it is now. So those are it. It was fun. Now we'll have to think of something else we can do together that was kind of fun spending some time with Miranda doing the art and all that. Now we just got to learn how to play him. Are you not going to play? This is Miranda, I'm CJ, this is the Amish Potato. See you next time. We went head first into the fire. Watch the flames rise higher.